Hello, this is Tola from Trifo Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm just going to introduce you to a way to easily, uh, let me see, reset values in Blender. This apparently only applies to dimensions and movements and rotation, things like that. But in terms of just the number of elements, it doesn't really apply to that. But this is something that's just built into Blender. Uh, if you hear anything in the background, that's my wife and my children. They're home today, which is great. But um, yeah, let me uh, let's click on our navigational tool here. Let me turn on the screencast key so I can make sure that this is still working. Uh, and it is. That's that's a good thing. So let's say you're working in Blender as a beginner, and you you know you move your elements up, and then move it to the side. And then you want to, <coughs> excuse me, scale it up. And then you realize, oh, I didn't want to do that. Sometimes Control Z works. If you press Control Z keyboard shortcut, sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. I've seen that, especially with add ons, sometimes that just doesn't work. So, what you can do is hover your mouse. This works with any version of Blender 2.79, 2.4, I think. And this is 2.8, then I'm using 2.8 and above. Hover your mouse over. Uh, the uh, value that you want to reset back to the default value and just press backspace on your keyboard and it just resets it back same thing with the scale and the good thing about this is that you don't have to uh, do this process for each uh, dimension of your element like you don't have to, to press backspace for X and backspace for Y and backspace for Z it just does it automatically so that's the easy way on how you can reset the values of parameters of an element in your scene now once again let's apply this to an add-on I'm going to use the building tool add-on I'm going to see if this works with this and if it works with this this is pretty much something that's legitimate so I'm going to get rid of this default cube by pressing delete on my keyboard and create for floor plan go into edit mode and let me add some floors to this. Let me increase that to, okay, let's say 15, 14 floors. So we have 14 floors. Let's say if you press Control Z, it just doesn't work. Let's, let's see if we hover our mouse over this and press backspace. Maybe if it will go back to the default value of just one. So I've hovered my mouse over this and backspace, and it does it. Okay, let's push it a little bit further. Let me click on, let me go to the face, select mode, let me left click on that. And then add a window to this. And let's increase the number of windows. And I'm going to see if it's going to apply that same result to the number of windows by turning the windows back to just one window. Hover, backspace, and it doesn't do that to the number of elements as I mentioned before. It just does it to the dimensions. So let's play with the dimensions here the size of the windows size on the Y value to an offset let's press backspace to see if it does it on on the uh, these parameters backspace oh backspace backspace well uh, we've come across an issue here because it didn't put the value back to one it put it back to point one oh which is not exactly what we wanted Okay, let me manually do that back. So, I guess the conclusion is the backspace key works on native elements or add-ons in Blender, uh, native elements in Blender. But when it comes to add-ons, it works sometimes and sometimes doesn't work because I've done this on other uh, add-ons and it, it's worked for the most part. But for this particular add-on, in terms of the window size, it didn't work. So just be cautious with it. Remember, hover your mouse over um, parameter, press backspace, and it goes right back to the default value of that element. <coughs> Once again, that's, that's today's quick tip. Uh, thank you guys who have watched these videos that I've been producing. And thank you guys who will watch it in the future. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those of you who are subscribing now. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.